Okay, so you can see here the loop uh, predicts test is going to go low, and I think she's going to start going high here in a bit. Um, she had breakfast about two hours ago, and um, it looks like here, if you see the 60 gram entry, Tessa entered, used the pictures and changed the absorption time down to two hours, and really it should be three or four hours because she had sausage, eggs, and cinnamon rolls, all of which have fat and protein in them. Um, so it's going to take a little longer for those carbs to show up. But because that two hour or now three hour and 10 minute window is about to close in another hour or so, Loop doesn't expect another 35 carbs to show up. So um, that's why I think she's going to go low. So if we change this, to three hours, you'll see she goes from a negative 20 something prediction to now a positive 162 with almost a half unit recommended bolus. So that's a quick tip just to check your absorption times on your entries and see how just that tiny change can make a big difference in your prediction and how much insulin loop thinks you need in the later half of a meal.